everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. You want to have some fun with junk mail and use it up, recycle it, repurpose it, and pop it into our junk journals for some really cool embellishments? Okay, so here's a couple of ideas. Um, just playing with the papers today, trying to use up what I have, and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So this is prototype number one. And let me actually take the camera down to you. Okay, so I just popped it onto an avocado dyed page. And in the top here, I have loaded uh, three little uh, tickets and these tickets. These are little journal cards and I just made these out of my, these came from Victorian Snow and from Birds Black and White from my Digi Kits, but you can use anything in here. You could put little uh, note cards, you could put um, playing cards, you could put um, vocabulary cards, whatever you like. And I put a piece of uh, field guide on the back here and then the two windows that naturally come in the envelope. I went ahead and popped some cutie pictures from Beatrix Potter, um, Peter Rabbit. These are Peter in the corner, isn't he cute? And then I had some fun with the sewing machine, but you can glue these. You do not have to uh, um, sew these, but, uh, and I also had some little bunny feet that I hopped onto the page and it just kind of hopped along and hopped off to the side just for fun and went around with some uh, liquid pearls and uh, decorated up. So if you want to come along for this ride, let me show you another example and then we'll make one together. Okay, there we go. That's one. And let me back you up just a little bit so you can, you can see the full enchilada here. Okay, so this one, um, I used some pictures out of Mother Hubbard. Um, I had a book and I'm, I'm trying to yeah, use up what I have and I made some journal cards. And these actually, uh, one, this one is from my um, black and white, uh, Bird's Black and White uh, Digi Kit. And this one is from Old Mother Hubbard book. And I was going to cover the back with some writing paper, but then it had this pretty little dog on the back. So I left it and I just gave them some toppers for fun. And the basic construction of the actual pocket is the same, just using different elements so you can get different looks. And let's make one. These are very fun to make, very useful, very handy. And uh, they fill up a journal page, one of those lovely blank journal pages. So I grabbed an envelope like this in my crunched junk mail envelope pile, trying to use up what I have. They're great resources. Um, you can either keep the plastic in place or you can remove it. Uh, for this one, I'm going to keep it in place. Um, uh, and let's go ahead and pop some cutie pictures inside. Okay, so the whole concept of this is the envelope will be fold, folded like this. So you can actually decide how long you want your windows to reveal. So if your pictures aren't as long as your windows, you just don't fold them as high, okay? You can make very small windows, you can make very long windows, totally up to you. Okay, so I do have this flap here and I'm going to close that down, but first I need to put in my pictures. And I have a little bit of a torn piece here, so I'm just going to take some old Fabrifix, um, the Wonder Glue, um, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, and glue that baby down. Okay, so he's back in place. All right, so now you could use anything um, to put inside of these. You could use pictures from books or magazines or something that you draw yourself, totally up to you. Like that, maybe we'll use that. Um, okay, so I just have a couple of these from my um, Victorian Snow Digi Kit. And, um, um, but uh, like I did in this example, you could use, um, like I used Peter Rabbit here. On the other one, I used um, some some old vintage book page. I have this cute little old book with the most amazing caramel colors in it. And then it's very fragile, so I like to use it in instances like this. And uh, actually, I may show you that for comparison's sake. Okay, we'll use one of these. And I'll show you how I measure it. It's pretty easy. Oh, see, see how fragile it is? Yep, that's what happened. But I think I have enough of the page, which I can salvage it. I'm not going to go down the whole way. So where's my very important ex expensive measuring device? It's called this pencil. So if I show myself, well, let me zoom in a little bit. If I show myself how wide it needs to be, then I put this where I want it to live width-wise. So I want it to be at least to here and at least to here and probably at least to here. So I am just going to cut that with the old-fashioned scissors. I'm not going to tear this because it's so fragile. It's probably going to fracture on me, but I want to preserve the paper because I love it. And uh, I'm just going to cut down the sides. And now in this particular one, I'm going to glue, I'm going to put my glue on the back of this and then glue it down to the 
inside like this. That way I don't get any glue on the face here. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to use a fabric fix just because I think a glue stick might tear this gentle, uh, delicate paper. Um, but this is an option. You can use any glues here. Any wet white glue will work. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, just be mindful you don't... Um, uh, it, it might wrinkle your paper a little bit or something like that. Um, okay, so getting in there. Aligning where we want it to live. I like the word Edison's. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, we'll go with that. All right, so this is what we have. Okay, that was pretty easy and actually it lives behind the sheet. It's glued on the bottom, so it's not going to get glue on this little thingy. And now let's put maybe um, some bluebirds in there for some contrast. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's see where you need to live, where we want you to live right there. Get most of the birds in there. And maybe we can get you there, and we could probably leave you, but we at least be there. We could probably leave the whole thing. I'm just going to leave the whole thing. How about that? Um, so I'm going to glue the back because the whole back is going to go down. All right. Are you, can you see? Yeah, you're really close, aren't you? You can see everything. You can't miss a thing like this. If I just stay in frame, life will be good, right? Okay, so now we get orient, orient. Can't go that far, but we can be there. That's good. Okay, so we have the birdies in place. Maybe we want to move you a little more to the right. We have like a second. No, maybe we don't have the second anymore. Do we have the second? We do. Oh, there we go. A little more birdage. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to have to get the glare out. There we have that. And that's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah. Okay, so next thing you can do, if you want, this is optional. And if I can find it, I will show you um, what you can do with, this is a Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. It's basically a watercolor pencil. So if you go around the outside, I can hear a sandhill crane outside. They have a almost like a turkey gobble sound. I don't know if you can hear that. It might be too far away, but yeah, they're gobbling. They're gobbling this morning. And this is just going to give us a little more distinction around these openings. And then you can come along with a little bit of water and use your finger or a Q-tip is fine. I don't have a Q-tip at the ready. And that will liquefy that black line and it will cause it to do its little watercolor effect thing. That's a you know design choice. If you like to do that, great. If not, hey, at least you can say you, you con contemplated it. All right, so there we go. So now at this point, um, I'm not going to be doing anything else in here. Now you could do, oh, sorry. There you go. I, oh, no, you need to see better than that, better than that, better than that. There you are. Okay, so you uh, since I'm going to fold this up like that so I can have these show, I don't want to be lower than that. Um, I'm going to fold where I want it to live, but then I'm going to seal this up. Now you could do extra things with extra pockets here, but I'm just going to do a simple, simple pocket design and use up my scraps and feel good about it. Yeah. So if you want to come along for the ride, hang tight. Um, this is a very easy concept. Nothing super fancy, nothing crazy wazy. Um, all right, so that's what we're looking at. Now you can make these sewn or not sewn. I chose to sew mine, but um, you don't have to. That's an option. And uh, so now I want something in the background here. Let's see, we got this little picture. This is also from the Victorian snow. Let's see. Oh, I do like that though. That kind of goes with the theme. Okay, I think I might put that there. Let me outline it in black. And I'll just do a little outline emphasizing the edges a little bit because maybe I didn't cut it perfectly. I have a little white space, something like that. Instead of trimming more off, I want to preserve the size, but I still want it to pop against the white background. So I'm just going to emphasize this one in black. You can do any color. Any color will make it pop. Okay, there you go. Um, all right, so let's pop that guy down. That's pretty easy, right? Oh, okay. So let's just we use whatever glue we have handy. Glue her down. Oh, Sunny's coming in the craft room. Wants to know what's going on. Asking how you all are. Yeah. Yeah. And he's in his position. There's the position. Hi, Sunny. Hey. Okay. So here we're back here. 
Now we're going to do this, but before we do that, we're going to take a little, uh, this is optional, but this is a one inch circle punch. Well used, probably a good investment for most craft rooms if you happen to have one or come across one, and then you get your pocket thumb hole. Not mandatory, just kind of fun. All right, and I think I'm gonna maybe just do a little bit of outside edging in this one in black. I know I'm just, just kind of feeling it, going with it, and just a little to highlight the fact that it's on this white paper, and I'm gonna put it on a contrasting page, so it's gonna help it stand out a little bit. Okay, not too much, not too crazy. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to sew here and sew here. And uh, you could just glue there. You could staple there. Um, you could even tape there. We have options. Okay, but I'm going to sew it. Hang on. Okay, part of me using up what I have is also me not getting in the way of the sewing. So you can see it because I noticed I've been in the way. But let me, um, let me put, I'm trying to use some of these other stitches I never use. So let's try 68. 68 has a leaf thing in it. So let's see how that goes got black on top and some other color underneath okay oh I lost it hang on <laughs> lost the string okay I'm back I rethreaded um, so I am well known as the world's worst sewer but I am I'm uh, learning <laughs> but I'm not gonna let it stop me okay here we go okay no idea what I'm getting but I think it's gonna be cute all right it's got leaves it's got to be cute right have I got my microphone on yes okay Hoping that these are aligned well. Looking good so far. Whoop, there's a funny string coming through. Probably should have cleared that. Didn't do it. Sewing anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I want to preserve most of my pocket, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a straight stitch along the bottom. Okay just because I don't feel like coming off the thing. Okay, here we go. All right, straight stitching along the bottom. Okay, whoop. maybe back up one. Turn, and now we go north with the 68 again with the leaves. And we're off. I'm going full gusto here. Let's see if it does it fast. It's only maybe four sheets of paper it's going through, so it's not having a problem. Mine will go up to about 15. I have shoved 20 through at time. It didn't like that at all. Let's just say I probably won't do that again. 15, it sort of like really puts up a lot of fuss, but it will do it. And we are done. There we go. We're off. Well, we're not off. There we go. No. All right, here we go. Cut. Cut. So there we have that so far. And hang on. Don't get seasick. We're swinging back over. And we're back. Okay, so so far we have that. And that's cute, right? I mean, we really don't need to do any more of it than that. If you glued it or, or something like that on the side and you want to put little decorations down the side or something, you could do little rubber stamps. Um, you could um, do little faux stitching, things like that. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do. Now, just to amp it up a little bit, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. I'm going to do something with the edge, edge here, maybe with some liquid pearls in bronze. And if you're looking for any of these things, I have uh, most of these items in my Etsy shop if you're looking for them, uh, but you can find them in most uh, hobbies, stores and things like that. One, two, three, often for less. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know why I'm counting. There's, there's no reason to count. No, like I would like I would care if there was exactly the same number on one side as the other. No, that's not happening in this world. Um, Okay, so now, now I could do the dot, 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 but that's so, you know, we know we can do that. So let's try, let's do, let's do something else. Let's just do a little line up the center and let's pretend this is a wispy. It's like a wispy and we're doing some, we're painting with our uh, uh, liquid pearls. Yeah, we're just going to make like a little, it's like a little tree something, you know, because birds and they land on trees and there's like something there. Okay, so that's cute, right? All right, so we did that. We've got leaves, we've got sticks. Very naturey theme going on here. And now um, we want to put some tuckables. And we want tuckables, right? We have to have something to put in our pockets. Now, this is where you could put anything you like. Um, maybe I'm going to go with the continue with the snow theme here. So, because I've got these cut out already. So, let me just go with the snow theme. <laughs> How about that? Um, whoa, don't go there. You get to roll over. 
Go over there. See, now that's why you have to have a clean desk, Missy. All right, here we go. Here's a big one. I could put it in like that. That's cute. Okay, so let's just cut this out. And this I just printed out on 67 pound paper. Uh, I also use 90 pound paper. Um, they, they are very similarly weighted, uh, at least the two I bought. And I did put them in my store if you're looking for those, but you can find them at any, any shop as well. So I think that's going to tuck in there nicely. Maybe we want to emphasize it just a little bit, maybe around the corners, maybe not everywhere, just at the corners. Yeah, I'm going to do this one a little differently. There we go. So then I can, no, don't you be rolling this way. Okay, we've got some more birds like you. I'm going to do the corners. Oh, you know what? We'll put some toppers on these. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, you see how I didn't cut that exactly? I can either go back and cut some more or I can just hide it with the, the ink. And that way looks like it was planned. But I don't lose any more of the paper. I don't have to cut it off. Okay, so there you go. A little more. Okay. All right. And um, so let's, I have a bunch of these little bits in the, uh, in the theme, continuing with the theme of using things up. I have this little tiny bag beside me with um, little paper, uh, fabric scraps. So I'm going to try and use some of these up. Let's see. I seem to be having a blue theme going on here. Well, I have this. Could I do it this? Oh, I could, I could do that. Oh, that would be cute, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do it. Some kind of piping from the edge of something. Now it's going to be part of this. I had no idea this was coming. Well, let me tell you, that's a shocker for it. Let me put this over here before I squat. You know what happens. You know. Okay, here we go. There. All right. Uh, let's just cut that off. The right measurement. These are great little scissors. Um, if you if you you squeeze them as opposed to pulling them apart, they're so much easier on the hand. You know, if you have if you craft a lot or your your hands get tired or sore or achy, they're they're great. And there's lots of different brands of those. I think these are Fiskar. Yeah, these are Fiskar. Um, uh, but they have saved many a woeed hand around here. Let me tell you. Okay, so we have that, and then we want to put something on you because you're just cute. Uh, maybe we would put cream on you. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's do that. Put a little dab there. And we'll just come along and put you there. And we'll make you go higher than you are. So we have a little, you're a little taller than whence you came. That's my latest phrase, apparently, a lot. From whence you came. Hmm. I wonder, is that is that Shakespearean? I don't know. And now I've got I've got the brown. Or I've got the the brown, which actually I think got stuck in the black or something. That's why it's coming out pretty dark. Um, okay. So how many do we have here? We have this, and this goes in here as a nice little journal card. Now you can actually stick that out a little more, so this guy can come in here. And, mm, come in there. All right. And tuck himself in. We could put. Did I have one more? What have I got? These little guys ice skating. All right, you want to go in there? Okay, I'll put you in. Uh, yeah, we got time. Okay. All right, and we're going to glue this down onto a page. And you can make an extra pocket if you leave the top unglued, or you can uh, just seal the whole back uh, of this item down. This item. <laughs> this item known as an embellishment pocket, a journal pocket. Okay, so we have that. That's very cute, isn't it? These are all from Victorian Snow. And uh, my digit kit. And let's see what are going to put on top of you. Let's go in the pile. Oh, I'm going to just show you the pile. Okay, there's the pile. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, that's a little crazy. That doesn't go with anything in there. But sometimes you need something different to pop. And it does have a little blue. I'm going to go with it. I know it's radical, but it's happening right before your eyes. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, put that there. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're just going to maybe fray it a bit. Oh, we are all about the fray, aren't we? Yes. Living life in the fray. I think that's where crafters live naturally. We are fray folk. Yep. Frayers of the world. Come on, fray for me. Fray for me. <laughs> Can you say a little frayer for me? <laughs> I think I need a fray, a fray frayer prayer. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's pretty good. I'm just, I'm just fine with it. There. I think it's very cute. Okay, so it does sometimes it doesn't have to be much. It just has to be something that adds a little something. 
or not, totally up to you how, how far you're going to take your little somethings. Make it a little taller. Okay, there we go. And uh, in you go. All right, so we have that. We have that. And we have that. That's cute. All right, okay, you can't see anything. Sorry. So this is what we have so far. All right, now let's go ahead and pop it down on a page. Um, manam, 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 manam. All right, let's put you. How about I'm going to put you in here? Oh, you might pop out very nicely against that. Yes, yes. Okay, now this guy's a little busy, so I want to do something in the background, but not. Oh, sorry. There we go. So this guy's a little busy, so I want to do something in the background, but not crazy town. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a script stamp that doesn't have too much ink on it already, like this guy. And I'm going to take a lighter colored ink. And here I go into not common for me to do land. Is there pink in that? Not really. It's blue. Okay. Oh, no. I want to use like a, an old um, paper. Hang on. I got to find it. Like this one. It's called old paper. I don't know. I still wet at all. I don't feel something. All right. Let's try this. Let's put it on here. So it's not a really dark color. It's just a suggestion of color. Probably going to get a little reactivation of the black that's on here. But let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That came out a little darker than I thought. Probably because of the black. That's okay though. We're just going to go. That was kind of more of what I was thinking about, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now most of it's going to be covered up. Okay. Okay. There we go. So that whole thing is covered. And let me come in here with a brown dauber. I must self-identify these before I come in because I have been known to cross-pollinate my daubers. And I'm going to come in with some walnut stain ink and I'm just going to address the edges lightly just to give them a little something. You see that? Yeah, I'm just going around the edges lightly and then I maybe come down the middle and it'll get a little on the on the other page but I like that. I think it's kind of cool. Just put a little extra fuss on it. Okay. Round, soft round hue the edges. Soft, 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 soft. Soft, soft, soft. Soft, 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 soft. soft. Oh, no, I'm, going, I'm going probably too much. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here and that's what I have. Okay. It may have been better without and just leave the background white, yellow. But, you know, this is where we are. <laughs> so we go from here. So I'm going to not touch that. Look at that. I touched that one. See that? That's how it happens. That's how fast. So you got to know where those are. Turn it. You should wait till they dry. That's what you should really do. Wait till they dry. Go have a snack. Come back. Be wise. Don't be me. Be foolish and foolhardy and carrying on when your liquid pearls is not dry. No, you need to have patience and just start another craft while you're waiting for, you know, paint to peel, uh, paint to dry. Yeah, that's literally what it is. We're waiting for paint to dry our entire lives. You know, sometimes I just want instant and I want to go and create and be on to the next thing. Okay. So I don't know. I, I, I think it's getting lost in there. I gotta find a new page. Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm totally out of there. How about here? No, no, no. I'm finding a new page. I'm just, okay, this one's nice. I'm not putting anything on it. Yeah, I'm just, that's how fast these things can change. Right before your eyes. Down you go. You look much better on there. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, what was I thinking? That was silly. All right, don't do that. <laughs> and um, where is, hang on. I'm feeling like I want a little bit more white in this area here to bring the white into the center of the page. So I'm just taking this little tiny applique I got on AliExpress sometime last year. Just going to put a little dab of glue on her. And I'm actually going to put that right on top of this. That way I've got a little splash of white in the center of the page as well. Now, I do have leaves going down both sides, which I really like. Um, but maybe I want to do something, you know, like something down the sides. Something very small. And I don't want to overwhelm the page. But I want to do a little something. So I'm going to grab the black. Here it is. And I am going to take this peg stamp, which I got from Nora Jane's. I know you're going to ask on Etsy, Nora Jane. Uh, she has great peg stamps. And um, I bought a whole bunch from her. Okay, so I think I got these from her. I don't know. 
but oh don't take your pink stop that okay now this is where you should wait till your liquid pearls dries because you're like me and you can't wait till your, your liquid pearls dries you will get liquid pearls everywhere okay okay so I just came and did that just because I don't know why I just felt I wanted to do that not necessary but just fun so if you enjoyed this little process this was a lot of fun oh look what I have this sitting here let's we have time so I could stick it somewhere all right it's just a little flat back colored pearl and I could stick it there I could stick it there I could stick it whoop I can hold on to it these are a little slippery bedoodads I could put it up there but I think I might try for the center of that let's see how this goes I'm going to glue something onto something inappropriately, but let's just see what happens. Land there. Whoop. No, not right, but there. So Fabrifix is a good one if you're gluing anything to fabric. Um, so there, now we have that. Yeah, see how we're just going with it? We're rolling with it and going with it. Um, do we want to put something here? I don't know. I'd have to have used something really small. You know what you can use? Um, since I got a few minutes, I'll just show you. Um, you know, like things maybe you don't think about that often like maybe a piece of this hoo-ha you know everybody's got a piece of this hoo-ha we all had to have that at some point and then it drove us crazy well I'm trying to use it up so maybe I'll use an inch and a half and just put that on there and I'm going to take the fabric fix I'm just going to put it down the center yeah and just give these extra little intricate fuzzy tops okay there we go there you are. You're on there. I'm going to come along and clip you off. Boom. There we go. All right. So now you have a, a bit of a fuzzy top. Let's make sure we cover our inks. All right. Now this bat got this big bad boy in the back. What can we put on you that we can use up? I have this little weird thing. This is like, this is, there's a bulb pin in here. See that? And when I had really tiny pieces, I was just taking little pieces of paper and little bits of lace and a button, whatever. And I just put them on here. So I wonder if I can stick you on the top. Would that be too bulky? It might be, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, let's put the, everything down there. All right, go right through that little piping. This is easy. There. Now you're up there. Okay. Now I can't close the book because, but that will stick out up the top of the book. And I do love when things stick out the top of the book. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so there you just have some general ideas of ways you can play. So um, let me pull out everything that we I showed you before so you can get some ideas. And you don't have to use digi kits for that. I'm just using those for examples, but you can use uh, book pages, things that you make yourself, drawings, um, things from magazines. I mean, you can just have a lot of fun. And there's um, one more. Where is it? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Can't have gone far. Let me go find it. Okay, so here are the two originals. And then here is the third one we just made together. So I hope you had fun. If you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to not try and sound like a Robotron when I go through all this stuff. But if you're a new member uh, or joiner or subscriber, welcome. So happy to have you. And uh, for folks who have been around for a while, I'm so happy to have you. <laughs> so um, here's my little spiel. If you find uh, value or uh, fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell to uh, be notified of all my videos that come out. And um, if you're looking for any of the uh, tools or supplies that I use, I try and put everything in my Amazon store. There's a link down below the video for that if you want to go explore that. I also have an Etsy shop where I put all my vintage digi kits and I also when I complete a big chunky monkey journal or some bundles or some other fun things to sell I will pop them in there some are announced and some just show up by surprise so check it out every once in a while. Um, I have a monthly emailed newsletter which is free. And you get a free digital image, you get junk journal tips, you get a checklist of supplies for junk journal makers, as well as the note from the bookmaker to tuck in the beginning of your um, uh, junk journal. So it can kind of explain what on earth a junk journal is in case you're giving it to somebody who's never seen one of these uh, majestic mamas before. Um, oh, how their world will change. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they're free to listen to, and they're additional uh, material. There is, um, there you can find them on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, and a whole host of others. Or you can just link down below. You don't have to have any fancy uh, software devices or apps or anything like that. 
um, uh, come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there, um, playing with goofy junk journal ideas, creating things from nothing, sharing um, uh, thoughts and concepts about junk journal making. And uh, we do weekly and monthly challenges, all focused on creating, creating, creating uh, related to junk journals. So remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. And everybody just go have some fun today because you deserve it. Take care from me and Sunny, Holly, uh, happy Leonardo and Papa. Um, have an awesome day. Bye.